Hello everyone, this is Tim from Boat Shed on board this Maxim 2400 SCR for a look around her interior to give you an idea of what's down here, what kind of layout she is and if she might be the one for you. So as you can see, we're starting in the port aft corner here which represents the companionway. So you've got a nice big wide companionway, really easy to get down, three steps down and you're in not too bad at all. And we've got a, a, a smoked acrylic companionway door there or uh, or vertically mounted washboard should we call it but uh, as we come down we can see that we've got various bits and pieces we've got heater controls we've got the fuel gauge we've got a really nice stereo head unit and that stereo looks like it can be um controlled for from the helm and from the after the cockpit as well lots of other bits and pieces too we've got a nice big cupboard here for all of your other bits and pieces flares engine oil etc but it's actually a hanging locker so it could be useful for your wet foulies etc and then coming down into the galley we'll start at the top again we've got a clock we've got a nice microwave which is uh, just inset into the uh, the molding there we've got the the tv digital satellite receiver something we don't see very often on a boat on a boat like this nice shelf next to the electrics panel there and uh, moving down still you can see we've got a nice uh, wide cupboard there not nice and wide and deep actually lots of room in there for your cups etc we've got 240 volt sockets with a uh, very uh, must be a recent edition of uh, usb chargers we've got quite a few sockets around the boat as well which is always lovely you can never have enough for those uh, children with their iphones the galley itself very neat unit so we've got the uh this the single burner here or well it's uh, actually electric electric if you're alongside or alcohol when you're at sea but uh very useful to heat up those uh, pots of uh beans or tea whichever you're having on the day we've got a useful sink there we've got hot and cold running water too and down lower in the galley molding itself we've got some useful drawers and we've got a nice cupboard unit there as well so looking all very good and ergonomic too we've also got a bar to hold on to as well should we be uh, cantering along and doing cooking which i wouldn't really recommend but moving forward into the cabin you can see it's nice and it's light and it's bright and it's airy we've got uh, two windows one port one starboard uh, which both open i'd say that they may be due for replacement possibly and we've also got a hatch up to the foredeck there for escape reasons or light and air um, but we've got this really nice u-shaped seating all the way around the compartment so as you can see the headlining's light the hull lining's light the uh, the upholstery is light and also the carpet uh, so it feels really nice down here we've got uh, an infill there as well so this can make into a double there's storage underneath the cushions as well and also behind and this uh, this section here lifts up to uh, allow foot room all the way to the forward bulkhead there but i won't be, i wouldn't be able to do that single-handed in this video um above that we've got a shelf and we've got access to the anchor locker there stereo speakers either side and what looks to be the top of the uh, cockpit table there as well but all in all feeling rather nice we've got lights dotted around the headlining we've got reading lights as well and uh, access to the bills through that hatch down there and the bills do, does look nice and dry though she is on a trailer at the moment so i kind of would expect that uh, looking aft along the starboard side you can see we've got a heater outlet so we've got nice heating on this boat we've got uh, a shelf unit up there um we've got an extinguisher etc and we can just see how just how light and bright it is down here it feels lovely very nice indeed Right, let's move aft. So a step down. Headroom down here is really, really good. I'd say the aft of the compartment you're looking at at six feet plus. But opening this door, that takes us into the head. Nice and compact. Again, good headroom, about six feet. We've got an electric head. We've got a shower unit as well, and we've got a cupboard at the back and also an opening opening window. So I would say that this compartment does look really, really nice and easy to, to clean. So while it may be compact, etc., there's room in there to do what you need to do, I think, but also very easy to sort out when it's all finished and the family's gone home and you're left to clean it up. Very good. Set into the bulkhead here, we've got a fridge unit uh, with matching up upholstery, which makes it rather nice. We've got uh, the heater controls too. And then if we just duck down, I'll just move back a little bit. You can see the aperture through which you would crawl to uh, what isn't a cabin, but it's uh, um, if it had a door on it, it would be. Although we've got this concertina um, um, affair here, but uh, it's a, basically a sleeping area, as you can see. It's a very nice wide double. And if I just poke you in, you can see we've got the head end down there we've got heating in here too uh, a window to allow light and air in and also you can see how far it goes across the boat so almost completely a thwartship's breadth of the boat so uh, very nice and uh, um, 
comfortable in there, but a bit of a clamber to get in, perhaps, if there's two of you in, two of you in there. So uh, this was Tim, just showing you around the interior of this Maxim 2400 SCR. It's amazing what the, uh, the Maxim designers have squeezed in here. There's lots of equipment. She seems very well appointed, and uh, I think she'd just benefit from a wipe here and there, and perhaps a little look at the headlining and the hull lining for that mildew. But this has been Tim from Boatshed, showing you around this boat. Hope you've enjoyed, and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Thanks for watching.